Alright, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this HP uh, Pavilion Model 15-AB243CL. So first what you want to do, I already took it out to show the model number, but first what you want to do, um, this battery part will be locked. So unlock it and then flip this switch to the side and then this battery will come out. After you do that, you want to remove all the screws from the bottom. So there's two screws here. And then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So remove all those screws. This screw holds in the CD drive. Once you remove that, you can pull the CD drive out just like that. Um, and then you will have two screws under here. Um, these screws are covered by these little plastic covers. So you have to pry these out. The easiest way to do that is to kind of push on this and then if you have a needle you can kind of like get in between and then you can pop it up okay so that's how you would get those out or you can just stab them out because they're just cosmetic you don't really need them if you want you can just use force if you can't get it out just use the screwdriver and poke a hole through it okay um, once you do that then you got to get these covers off so to get these off you just get your fingernail or a pry tool underneath and then kind of just work it and it'll come out just like that. All right, just like that. Once you get those out, there's two more screws under there. So remove those two screws. And then what you wanna do, flip it over, open the screen a tiny bit so that you can get the gap here with your pry tool or your fingernails. I found fingernails work the best. You basically just get your fingernails in between the gap and then pull it like this with your palms pushing down. Okay, just like that all the way around it'll pop out go all the way around all right and then for this side you'll have to do similar um, you just grab the top here with your fingers um, you don't need to actually get between a little edge or anything but you just use your fingers here and push with your palm here okay just go like that and you'll see it pops out just like that okay just twist it a little bit all right once you get that then you can lift this up at an angle and then you can push this forward okay and that's how you get this cover off all right just like that so the cover comes off all right now you can see there's the um, hard drive the battery's already removed usually um, you'll want to hold the power button after removing the uh, battery just to drain any power um, so you don't end up messing anything up if you start disconnecting things so then here there's the hard drive it's a two and a half inch SATA um, hard drive. You can upgrade this to an SSD to remove that. There's a little uh, latch here. Just flip it up. Once you flip it up, you can get underneath this blue piece with your fingernail. It separates from the cable and then you can grab it and pull it out. So the cable just comes up just like this. Okay. Once you do that, don't pry on this connector, but try and pry on the underneath the hard drive itself. And then you can actually lift up the hard drive just like this. Okay. So I was pulling on here, all right? And then this piece comes off and yeah, both sides come out. So if you were replacing the hard drive with an SSD, that's how you would get the hard drive out, okay? Just transfer this bracket over to the other one. To get the this connector off, it's a little tough because there's not much area to kind of grip. So what I do is I'll move it over a little bit and then I'll get my fingernail in between the little gap there and I'll just slide it, slide it there. All right, just be careful with this because you don't want to damage anything. So once you get your fingernail in, you can kind of twist it a little bit and that'll pry it out. All right, just like that with your fingernail. All right, and you'll see the connector just comes out just like that. Okay, that's the safest way to do it so you don't break anything prying off all this stuff. Okay, so that's the hard drive. Set it aside. All right, and then you got um, the CMOS battery here. You got the... Um, uh, optical drive connector here so if for some reason this connector breaks you can replace it there's the ram here so this is let's see this is ddr3 ram so pc3 i don't know if you can see 12800s okay so that's the type of ram you need all right and then you can see the keyboard connector right here the keyboard backlight connector you got the trackpad um connector uh, the processor is soldered down just like on most of these laptops and then you got the wireless card here the wireless card to undo the antennas you just pull up from the 
the tail, it'll pop up at an angle like this, and then you can remove it. Don't try and pry from the front or you can damage it. Um, the, and the wireless card, there's one screw. When you undo it, it'll be like the RAM. It'll pop up at an angle, and then you can just wiggle it out and then put it back in at an angle and push it back down, put the screw in. Um, there's the fan connector here. To remove that, you just grip it with your fingernails and you kind of just wiggle it and it'll pop out and then leave it in there. Um, it looks like the fan you can remove. There's two screws holding it and then there might be another screw, but I guess somebody opened or broke this before. Let me close that door. Okay, so once you remove all those screws, you can take the fan out. Um, there's this cable here. I believe this is for the webcam and microphone. Then you got the cable here for the um, charge port that goes underneath. You can remove it. just have to undo this hinge screw. Um, then there's this connector here. I think this is the power button. And then you got the SD card and the two USB ports and the Ethernet cable, Ethernet port all on one connector here. So if something goes wrong here, you can replace this board as well and the power button board. If your computer's not turning on, it might just be the power button board or this board. So you can try those if you need to. Um, and then here's the LCD cable. And I believe that's pretty much it. Yep, everything else is um, part of the board. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, there's the speakers here. The wire runs underneath and then um, both speakers connect to this one port. So if you need to replace the speakers for any reason, you'd have to take the whole board out. Okay, uh, but that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.